and that is Dr. Clara Bonanad Lozano from Valencia, who will talk about frailty and other geriatric conditions for risk stratifications of older patients with acute coronary syndrome. Please. Good morning. I'm going to speak about frailty and other geriatric condition of elderly patients with acute coronary syndrome. There are no conflicts of interest in this work. As we know, life expectancy is increasing and general population is aging. Due to this phenomenon, an increasing number of elderly patients are being admitted to the cardiology department with the diagnosis of an acute coronary syndrome, unstable angina or myocardial infarction every year. And we must adapt to the social change to give the most appropriate medical care to these patients. Age alone is not enough to determine the prognosis of elderly people, and geriatric conditions define biological features related to age. The most important geriatric conditions are frailty, defined as a status of decreased physiologic reserve and increased vulnerability and elevated risk of cat catastrophic decline in health and function, physical disability, that is a limitation of physical function of limbs, fat movement, etc. Instrumental disability, that is the inability to perform activities of daily living, cognitive impairment, a deficit of mental functions, and finally, comorbidity, that is the presence of one or more additional illness, illnesses. We studied 342 patients, more than 60 years old, admitted to a single center with a diagnosis of an acute coronary syndrome, that is angina or myocardial infarction. And in these patients, we evaluate the characteristics of each of cardiac disease, diagnostic procedures, and also therapeutic interventions. And these five geriatric conditions that I previously mentioned were measured at discharge in this cohort of patients. Finally, we analyze the relationship between these geriatric conditions and death or recurrent myocardial infarction at 30 months median follow-up, and the additional value of this geriatric assessment to the, use, to the usual clinical evaluation was also studied. We found that all five geriatric conditions had an association with worse outcome in these elderly patients, and frailty was the strongest independent predictor of death or recurrent myocardial infarction and increased the risk of mortality by three times. For that, we conclude that when elderly patients are admitted to hospital with an angina or an acute myocardial infarction, their evaluation should include the assessment of geriatric conditions. And among geriatric conditions, frailty captures most of the prognostic information. This will help, help practitioners to identify who is most at risk of poor outcomes in this setting of an acute coronary syndrome, and better risk stratification will lead to better therapeutic strategies for this growing elderly high-risk population. But further investigation is warranted. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you very, very much. And now it's open for discussion and questions. Anyone? Uh, my coach has a question. Well, uh, I thank you for a very nice presentation. And I think the focus on the elderly patients is very important today. Uh, the age limit of 65 years. Uh, I think we have very healthy people down to that age. And uh, the rest of the presentations here will be concerned with octogenarians and even older people. Yeah. Uh, could you make some comment on the age limit of 65? Yeah, we, we choose that age because in previous studies, the cutoff of the age is 65 or 70 years old. And we, we would like to have a very big uh, cohort, but the median of our age in our population is 77 years old. Yeah. So patients really were very older than the cutoff of age that we choose. Yeah. Did you also divide your population into different age groups to, 
to see at what age was frailty really the dominating finding. I mean, did you divide it into uh, 65 to 70, 70 to 75, and at which age yeah. was really frailty dominating? We, we did a statistical analysis uh, by groups, and in our study, the age was not an independent predictor of outcomes, but frailty was okay. an increase uh, in each group of age. Uh, there is a question there over there. Is a question, yes. Please. Uh, Ed Sussman with MedPage today. <clears throat> Was frailty the only um, statistically yeah, significant uh, Which one? Um, condition that uh, you found? You found a, 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 a three times uh, greater risk mm -hmm. of uh, uh, by uh, mortality with. Uh, um, frailty, were any of the other conditions uh, uh, statistically significant? Yeah, that uh, is a, a good question because uh, all the geriatric conditions were related with outcomes, but only three of these geriatric conditions were independent associated with the risk of outcomes and were frailty, the most important, and also a cognitive impairment and comorbidity. Okay. I have also a question to the word frailty. How easy was that in general practice to really define frailty in the patients? Because it's uh, probably not mm -hmm. a very exact term. Very good question. Could you give some information about how to really uh, mark out for frailty? We use two scores to measure frailty. We use the FRIDA score, that is mm, the, more the most popular, with five e items. And finally, to contrast mm, frailty measure, we use also GREEN score, that is a really, is a new index that uh, I think there are only, there is only one study in 2012 in, in patients undergoing valve, aortic valve replacement. And we measure this both Scores of okay, thank, thank you. you very much. I think, a, the uh, there is another question. I just want one, one quick question. So as we look at the uh, hazard ratios, it looks like the, there was a significant decrease in uh, the uh, overall mortality if the patient was, in, was invasively managed. Am I reading that correct, correctly, that it was a 50% decrease in the hazard ratio with invasive management? No. I, so in our on, results. On your previous slide, maybe? That one, it's the sixth line down. This, Hard to read. These are, these are the multivariable models that mm -hmm. it, it means that we created a model, a clinical model for risk prediction. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, after that, to this model that uh, predicts high, high risk of patient very well, we added these three geriatric conditions that I mentioned to uh, to see if the, the model of risk predi prediction was strongest. And we can see that, that only green score, that is frailty, uh, predicted very strongest uh, to risk prediction in the multivariable model. But it's, not, it's another statistical analysis. I, I see. It, it just appeared that the, um, the invasive management, uh, management actually added to the model statistically. Uh, the reason that, that it's important is that we generally look at the frail patient and decide uh, frequently not to do as much invasive mm -hmm. and you know, as much intervention. And it looked like your data was saying that that might be the opposite of what we should be doing. Yeah, maybe it should be. But it is true that in frailty patients, uh, less cardiac catheterizations were, were done. That is. Thank you. <laughs> 